This is Steve with Rocky Mountain ATV MC, and today I'm going to show you how to change the oil on this KTM 1290 Super Adventure R. Changing your oil is one of the easiest things you can do, and one of the most important things you can do while servicing your machine. Now KTM recommends changing your oil at 620 miles and every 9300 miles thereafter. So today I'm going to show you how to do that on this 2018 KTM 1290 Adventure R. Now this procedure will work on all of your 1290 Adventure models. To do this job you will need some basic hand tools, a torque wrench, an oil pan, funnel, rubber gloves, rags, and safety glasses, along with a KTM oil change kit that we offer here at Rocky Mountain ATV MC. And you'll also need a copy of your OEM service manual for more information, proper procedures, and specs. First we need to start our engine and get it to running temperature. Just make sure to do this in a well ventilated area. Now that we've got it warmed up, we need to remove the skid plate if you have one. Next let's place the drain pan under the engine. Now let's remove both of our drain plug screens. Now let's remove our oil filter cover. Now let's remove the filter. Now let's remove the o-ring off our oil filter cover. Now let's clean it and replace it with a new o-ring. Now let's take a little oil and put it on the o-ring and install it on the cover. Now let's take some contact cleaner and a rag and clean the areas. Now let's take some engine oil and put it on the rubber grommet on our oil filter. Now these things are directional, they only go one way. This side goes in and the other side goes out. Now let's install our oil filter cover and torque our bolts to 4.4 foot-pounds. Now our kit comes with brand new drain bolt screens. If you do decide to use the old ones, I would clean them very thoroughly. Now let's go ahead and install both of these and torque them to 14.8 foot-pounds. Now if you still have any residual oil, just make sure that you clean that off too. Now let's remove the oil fill cap. Now KTM recommends using 10W50 Motorex oil. So let's go ahead and put in 3.2 quarts. Now let's put the oil fill cap back on and start the engine. Now you can see here that the oil is just inside the sight glass and that's what we want. Now we can add the remaining 0.6 quarts of oil and see where our level is at. Now to get an accurate oil check, you need to make sure that your bike is on level ground, stand the bike up straight, and then you can check the oil level. You need to make sure that the oil level is between the top and bottom of the sight glass. Then reinstall the fill cap. And last, let's install the skid plate. And that's it. That's all there is to changing the oil on your 1290. Come check us out at RockyMountainATVMC.com for more parts, apparel, and accessories. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. This is Steve. We'll catch you next time. Thank you.